Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. I think you can tell here if you've been following the channel a little bit that things are shifting a little bit. Now what's going on is I'm trying to come up with these series and get them really focused so that you guys are finding great value in my content. So on that note, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift the series here of new products and new features just a little bit. We're gonna mostly talk about new products here. I am gonna talk about a few new features but what I'm gonna do and what I've been finding is that the new features discussion, really what it's turned into is a Google Home and then Amazon Echo and then Google Home and then Amazon Echo week after week, just kind of a battle back and forth between those two of new features. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a video specifically about those two devices for new features about those devices. So you're going to see that coming here in just a few days after this video publishes. So what you'll have is new products, new features here in the general smart home, home automation world, a couple of Google Home and, and Echo features sprinkled in there, and then you'll see that new video with all the new features from your favorite smart hubs. So today, let's get into our new products and new features video. All right, so I have four new products to talk to you about here today, so we're gonna have to move a little quickly. The first one I wanna talk to you about is called the Rove Viva. Now, this is essentially Amazon Alexa on a device that you stick into the cigarette lighter or whatever we call them these days in your car, and you can bring Amazon Alexa with you on the road. Now, it has a couple of ports on the side for a USB charger. It also has the capability of muting the mic on the top. You know, this device, it's only around $40 and there's actually a promo on Amazon today. So I'll leave a link in the description below. You're able to go ahead and purchase that at a discount right now. The second product I want to talk to you about, it's actually from Lenovo and again, this is bringing Amazon Alexa into a different space, into a different type of device. Now, Lenovo Yoga Pads, you know, I like them personally. I like the fact that you can kind of flip them around, turn them into a tablet, use them very differently than a traditional laptop. I think it gives them a good dual purpose function there. And now what they've gone ahead and done in the new 730 Yogas, is they've gone ahead and they've added Amazon Alexa support. So that's gonna be embedded right in these devices. You're gonna be able to interact with Alexa there. Okay, so the third product I wanna to talk to you about, it's a bit of a different product here. It's actually an Alexa enabled heated jacket. So kind of a cool idea. I don't know the major applications for something like this, but it is also intended to just be a smart heated jacket that temperature monitors and then keeps you at the right temperature here. Now, you can enable it through Alexa. So if you're carrying uh, Alexa in your car or you're carrying Alexa with you in some mobile fashion, you're going to be able to enable that jacket. Now this coat is from a company called Ministry of Supply. And again, I'll leave the link below. You can go check them out. All right, so the fourth product, or actually in this case, a product line I wanna to talk to you about, we're moving away from Amazon and Google here finally. We're getting a big maker to come into the smart home or home automation space. That maker is GE, and of course, we know GE for a lot of different consumer electronics or consumer grade products. They also serve industry really well with a lot of their products. Now, what they've gone ahead is they've created a suite of Z-Wave based smart home or home automation product. Now, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go read a little bit more about these devices. But what I've seen so far is a motion sensor, uh, in wall, a smart switch, and a door sensor as well. Now, I do wanna to talk to you about a couple of new features. These are gonna to touch on the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa product set but I do wanna give you these cause they are a bit different and they're, they're kind of smart home integration with other softwares or other products here. So the first one I wanna to talk to you about is actually on if this then that. And I think we're starting to see a shift in that service a little bit. I'm hearing a few rumblings about if this then that maybe needing to go to a subscription model. But what I'm seeing right now is is some more interesting functionality. And one of the things with if this then that, that's always 
kind of got me, it's always stopped me from really getting in deep with them is one trigger, one action. And what I'm seeing now in some of the applets that are created by their, their larger companies here have more than one action associated with one trigger. So I think we're starting to see that if this then that platform expand and give you the capability of doing multiple actions. Now, I have to assume that the same thing is about to happen on the trigger side where you could have multiple triggers causing multiple actions. And I also assume that that's gonna open up functionality for others to make those specialized applets as well. But I haven't heard any confirmation of this. I'm gonna do some more digging and I'll get back to you here in the following weeks. Now on the flip side here, like I said, this is kind of connecting some different software to our smart home or our voice assistants. What I've seen recently, and I think a number of people have seen these articles coming out, is McAfee is now a skill on Amazon Alexa's ecosystem here. So you can actually ask McAfee to go ahead and scan your network. So that will cause a number of devices to be scanned, your network, and ensure that you're basically free of viruses, Trojans, etc., etc. Now, I think what that says to us is these other companies that have software solutions and electronics in your home already are looking for ways to integrate with these voice assistants. And I think it just further pushes the smart home idea. It's great to see. So there you have it. That's all of our products and new features here for this week. As I said, look for that next video here where we're gonna go through a number of new features from both Google Home and Alexa. Now, as always, if this is the kind of content you wanna see, you wanna know when those new products are coming out, you wanna know when these new features are available, go ahead, click that subscribe here just after our logo here, and uh, we'll be glad to have you on the channel. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.